In this video, I'm going to show you how to apply the cumulative average time learning model when it comes to learning curve analysis. So with this model, we're going to assume that the cumulative average time per unit declines by a constant percentage each time the production doubles. So let me walk you through the numbers here. So here we've got the individual unit time for the x unit. So to make the very first unit, we're going to say that it takes 100 hours. Okay, so when it takes 100 hours, then the cumulative total time, while well, we've only made one unit, is 100 hours as well. And then the cumulative average time per unit, well, it's one unit and 100 hours, that also is going to be 100 hours. So they're all 100 hours, all three of these columns here. Okay, but now we double our production. We go from one unit to a second unit. Okay, so we have double production and we're going to make an assumption here. Okay, we're going to assume that we have an 80% learning curve okay so that is going to assume that when we double production that the average time per unit is only going to be 80 percent of what it was before okay so before it was 100 hours per unit and now it's going to be 80 hours per unit okay so that's what we're talking about by a, a learning curve it doesn't have to be 80 percent it could be 70 percent it could be 60 percent but 80 percent is pretty common uh, for you to see so now if we were to again say, okay, we're going to double production again, let's say we go from two units to four units. Then we say, okay, well, what's the average time to make a unit? Well, it's going to be 80% because we're assuming an 80% learning curve. It's going to be 80% of 80 because we're double, we're going from two to four. Okay. So 80 to 64 because 64 is 80% of 80. Okay, so I hope you, you now let me just make sure you understand where all these numbers are coming from. Okay, so this is the average time per unit. Now, if we let's go back to when we go from one to two. So it took 100 hours to make the first unit. So if the average time per unit is 80 hours, and again, we got that because we said, well, it's an 80% learning curve. We doubled production. We went from one to two. So we doubled. So it's going to be, this is 80% uh, of 100 is 80. Okay, that's where I got the number, but let me explain what this means. So if the average time per unit is 80 and we made two units, okay, then that's two times 80 is 160 for our total time. Okay, our total time to make both of those, one and two, units one and two, we add it up, say how long did it take to make both of those together? It was 160 hours, okay? Now, if we say, okay, well, it was 160 hours to make the two together, but the very first one we said was 100 hours. So then it must be 160 minus 100 is 60 hours to make the second unit. Okay, that's what we talk about when we say individual time for the X unit. In this case, it would be the, the time specifically to make the second unit would be 60 hours. In other words, we know now that it was 100 hours to make the first unit and 60 hours to make the second unit. Okay, so then again, the cumulative total time would be 160 hours to make both of them because it's 100 to make the first one, 60 to make the second. So 160 together. And if we take 160 and divide it by two units, the average time per unit is 80. Okay, so what we're doing, we're looking at this average time per unit and we're saying, okay, every time production doubles, we go from one to two, or we go from two to four, or from four to eight, et cetera, eight to 16. Every time production doubles, we're gonna say, okay, you know what? It was uh, 100 was our average time per unit before. We've doubled production. What's 80% of 100? Oh, that's 80. Okay, now we go from two to four. We double production again. What's 80% of 80? 64, et cetera. Now, when we plot all this out, okay, when we plot this out, you see on this axis right here, you have the average time per unit, okay? And we, we start at 100, right, from up here. We start at 100 when there's just one unit, okay? So one unit, this is the number of units here on this axis. So we've got, we start at 100, when is that very first unit? And then we come down. That's what we talk about with the learning curve, okay? Let me change colors here. We come down with the learning curve because as the employees uh, produce more and more units, right? So they're producing more and more units. They're learning, they're getting better at producing the units. So it's taking less time to make that very first unit took 100 hours, right? But then the second one, it was only 60 and then 50.63 and so forth to make each additional unit. So again, the, the whole idea behind this cumulative average time learning model is that we're saying we're looking at the, cum the average time per unit and we're setting some learning curve. In this case, it's 80%. And so we're saying every time production doubles, 
from here to here, okay, then the, the, it's going to become, eight, it's just p p the employees have learned, and now it's only going to take 80% of the time it took previously as the average time per unit.